What is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And today we're going to do the uh, NFL Beast uh, Week 17 picks. Uh, Join me, the Rainy 48. Um, so, yeah. What's going on, guys? Yeah, I'm getting close. Hey, close? Did, did I? Aren't you still ahead of me? Well, yeah, in the season, but now overall, you had like five, you had five like picks, right? Oh, wow. I was that bad last week? Yep. Yikes. Yeah, I got nine. Though, I don't know, because we, we picked the Lions to beat the Vikings, but we never actually said it on video. Uh, so I might just include that as well. Um, But still, it is what it is. Yeah, it's uh it's it's I'm looking like the Buffalo Bills. I'm self destructing. <laughs> yeah. But uh next we have the uh or the first game we have is the last, I think, Amazon game for week seventeen. Uh the New York Jets taking on the Cleveland Browns, uh eight fifteen. Uh the Browns are a seven and a half point favorite. Yeah, I see the Cleveland Browns winning. Joe Flacco is playing pretty good. Defense is doing their thing. And uh, I don't see how the Jets can win. Is that uh, T Rex? Nope that's a that's an alligator. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think the Cleveland Browns win. Uh, I'm gonna say it's like twenty seven to uh, nine. Um, listen, I would like to put my faith in the Jets, but I cannot talk myself into putting my faith in the Jets, especially with you know. The fact that they're just not a very good team. Um, they almost let that game slip away last week, and they were throttling them for the better part of the game. I, the The Chiefs are still the better defense. Uh, I, I know that there's a lot of people that are – the I'm sorry, the Browns are better defense. There's a lot of people that are hoping that they're going to get a redo out of uh, Amari Cooper, but it's not going to happen. The Jets – Outside game is too good. It's going to come down to Njoku and um, Elijah Moore. It's going to be like 17 to 10 final Browns. Um, yeah, and that means you finally uh, believing in Joe Flacco? No, I'm just not believing in the Jets offense. Oh, okay. Anyways, uh, the Detroit Lions, uh, this is a Saturday only Saturday game, uh, eight fifteen, last game of two thousand twenty three. Uh, Detroit. Oh, actually, no. I'm sorry. It's not the last game of two thousand twenty three. Uh, because they'll have them on Christmas Eve or on Eve or New Year's Eve. Uh, the Detroit Lions against the Dallas Cowboys, eight fifteen, December thirtieth. The Cowboys are a six point favorite. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to the Cowboys. I was expecting the Cowboys to win big against the Dolphins, and they didn't really do that. Lions, they almost slumped against the Vikings, but they still got it done. Uh, I'm going to say the Dallas Cowboys win, though. I'm going to say it's 20 to uh, 17. I'm going to go out there with you and say the same thing. I wouldn't be shocked to see Detroit pull it off because Dallas seems to not be able to play well against good competition. But Detroit has been playing in a slump lately. Whatever's happening, they need to figure that out before the playoffs um, to really be able to make noise. Uh, I'm going to go Dallas. Dallas 24, Detroit 20. All right, Sunday, uh, New Year's Eve, uh, <laughs> Tennessee Titans at the Houston Texans. Houston's a five-point favorite. Yeah, I could see Houston winning. I mean, this game is just for respect at this point. Well, Houston actually have a chance to win the division. Scratch that. Um, but obviously the Titans want to play to still for respect. But uh, I think Houston gets it done. I'm going to say <laughs> I'm going to say it's 21-14. Houston. Um, I've got absolutely no faith in the, in the Titans. That team is miserable. Um, they need to tear it down. I don't know if they'll be smart enough to tear it down. I'm going to say the Houston wins 31 to 13. All right. Uh, Atlanta Falcons at the Chicago Bears. Um, The Bears are a three point favorite. Yeah, this one could go either way, but I'm going to just say that Chicago Bears win. Falcons uh, don't seem to really have as much of an identity. Bears are doing decent. 
So I'm going to say it's probably 26 to uh, uh, 14. Uh, you know me. I've really wanted to pick the Bears a lot recently. I don't trust the Falcons, but the Falcons have something to play for here. The Bears do not. I'm going to say the Falcons get this one done. I'm going to go ahead and say that it's 24 to 13 Atlanta. All right. So this is probably game of the week. Uh, Miami Dolphins at the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, the Ravens are a three and a half point favorite. Yeah, the Ravens are really establishing them us against the world mentality. They beat the 49ers, who a lot of people said was the best team in the NFL. Uh, and they stomped them in San Francisco. Uh, and they're still playing for the number one seed right now. The Dolphins are trying to win their division and get that number one seed. So there's a bunch of urgency for this game. I'm going to say it is 30 to 27 Baltimore. See, this is a problem to me because I think this is two teams that I still think are a case of, of false identities. I don't think either of these two teams are as good as the media perceives them to be. Um, that being said, if I had to pick the better of the two teams, I don't think are that great. It's Baltimore. Baltimore's got a better defense. Um, somehow Lamar is finding a way to still put points up, even if it's not necessarily from his arm. He's doing more at this point for his team than Tua is, because quite frankly, when you take away Tyreek Hill, Tua is not as dangerous. Um, I'm going to say Baltimore gets it done. It's 27 to 21 final. New Orleans Saints, New Orleans Saints at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, the Bucs are a two and a half point favorite. Yeah, I'm gonna say the Bucs win. Uh Baker Mayfield's looking really good. He established that he can be a starter in this league, in my opinion. Uh dominated the Jaguars. I'm gonna say the Bucs win this game and they're gonna win the NFC South, clinching it. Um, and uh I'm gonna say it's twenty seven to uh fifteen. I'm going with the urgency again here. I'm going with the Saints. Um, the Saints kind of have that never see die attitude. No matter how bad they've played, they've bounced back well in, in games that matter. Um, I know that they don't have Michael Thomas. I believe he's done for the year. He might be able to come back, but I doubt that he will. Hopefully, they get a, a healthy uh, Chris Olave here. Tampa's defense is very bad. So, New Orleans just has to outduel Baker Mayfield. I think they get it done. I'm going to say it's 27 24 Saints final, knowing that they need to win to keep their hopes alive, especially given that in the end, Tampa has Carolina next week. All right. New England Patriots at the Buffalo Bills. Uh, the Bills are a 13 point favorite. God, do I hate that line. Yeah. Um, with the Buffalo Bills, um, they had the trap game, but they still overcame it. This is a, probably another trap game, but they need it more. There's urgency. I think they get it done. I think they're going to win 27-7. to 7. So I don't think it's as much of a trap game because, it, say, like, I guess with the trap game with San Fran, or with L.A., you had a new quarterback, a new coach with no tape on him, and a whole new defensive scheme. At least with this, you know what you've seen with Bill Belichick. You've got enough tape on Bailey Zappi, albeit it might not be as much. Um, I think they're going to come out stronger here. I don't think it's going to be as confident as it was last week. Um, I'm going to say 31, 31 to 13 bills. Cardinals at the Eagles. Uh, the Eagles are a 10 and a half point favorite. Yeah. Uh, the Eagles should win this game and they need to win this game. Uh, there's going to be a lot of urgency for them. So they got to uh, wrap up that division. So I'm going to say 33 to uh, 21. Yeah, yeah uh, Philadelphia hasn't looked good, but I can't even find a salvageable way that they lose this game to the Cardinals. Um, they're going to put on the, the, the gliders 31 to 17. They're just going to score a lot of points. They don't even have to play defense, which they haven't been doing anyways. Uh, the Carolina Panthers at the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars are a six and a half point favorite. Well, Jacksonville got blown out. The Panthers almost beat the my Packers, uh, because of our atrocious defense. Um, but I don't see how Jacksonville loses this. I mean, Jacksonville has a much better defense than the Packers do, so I think the Jags will win. 
Uh, I'm going to say it's 21 to 10. So I wouldn't necessarily say that Jacksonville is a much better defense. They're just better in one area that Green Bay is not, and it's that they're very good against the run. Um, I'm going to say it's the same thing. I think they kind of slow down Carolina's momentum. I don't really trust Bryce Young as much. Um, they know they need the game 17-13 final Jaguars. All right, next we have the Las Vegas Raiders against the Indianapolis Colts. Um, The Colts are a three-and-a-half-point favorite. Yeah, it could go either way. I mean, the Raiders did upset the Chiefs. I am going to say the Raiders win, um, but I think it will be close. I think it is going to be uh, 20 to 16 Raiders. I'm also going to go with the Raiders here. Um, Unfortunately, you can say what you want, but the Colts kind of have a disadvantage given that they play at the same exact time as Houston does. And that's who they've got. I mean, that's Indy Houston and um, Jacksonville all for that division. Still, they all, all three play together. The Raiders know they kind of control their own fate and they do have to kind of score a win here to maybe get a chance to win that division still. And I say maybe because it's not going to happen, but I'm going to say the Raiders pull it off 24 to 17. Uh, the Colts drop this one. All right. Uh, we have the LA Rams at the New York Giants. The Rams are a five and a half point favorite. Yeah, I think the Rams will win. Um, the Giants, they're hot and cold and they're cold again. I think. And they've benched their quarterback. Yep. I think the Rams. The cutlets are cold. I think the Rams will win. Uh, I think it will be 22 to 13. I agree with you on the Rams there. Uh, I think it's going to be like 24 to 10. Not a super fun game, but the Rams continue to eke towards a playoff berth. Yep. Uh, next, we have the San Francisco 49ers at the Washington Commanders. Uh, the Commanders, who have also benched Sam Howell. The Niners are a 13 point favorite. You might as well just make it an even 20. Uh, Niners are going to be able to coast at halftime. Yeah. 45 to 10. Yeah, they'll definitely get revenge here. I'm going to say that it's uh, 35 to 10, Um, even if Purdy doesn't play, but I think he is. Um, I definitely think they'll win anyways. Um, Is that the last 1 o'clock game? That's the last 1 o'clock game. On to a couple select 4 o'clocks. Yep. Uh, next, we have the Steelers at the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, four oh five game Super Bowl. Seattle is a rematch. three and a half point favorite. Mm, Super Bowl forty rematch. Yeah. <laughs> um. But anyways. Uh. Well, I mean, let's see the new thing because the Steelers uh did get uh the Bengals last week with Rudolph. Yeah, I think that uh, Christmas magic runs out for Santa's reindeer Rudolph. Um, Seattle comes back out or come back to earth. They know that they have to play for a playoff spot. I'm saying Seattle knocks them off 21 to 21 14. I also think the Seattle Seahawks win, unfortunately. I think it will be uh, 21 to 10. All right. Uh, 425, Cincinnati Bengals at the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, the Chiefs are a seven-point favorite. Yeah, Chiefs really need this game. They lost to the Raiders. They're losing really badly. They got to win the division here. So um, I think they beat the Bengals. I think it's going to be uh, 24 to uh, 10. I think you're pretty much spot on. Um, I don't know if it's going to correct whatever woes the Chiefs are going through, but I think the bigger concern is if they do find a way to lose this game, you really have to hit that emergency button. Um, I'm going to say 21 to 14 is my call. Again, not a super high scoring game. You could probably slam the under on this one, uh, but I got the Chiefs riding the ship somewhat here. All right, last 425 game, you have the LA Chargers at the Denver Broncos. And uh, Russell Wilson's let's ride is over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, reportedly being released come March. Yep, apparently, Bill. You've been, well, it's not official until the uh, end. You're right, but Deanna Rossini from ESPN is reporting it, and he has been benched for the last two games by Sean Payton. Yep. 
So, like, what's Sean Payton going to do? Like, call Drew Brees and get him out of retirement? I don't get it. Or just find a new quarterback. Yeah, well, easier said than done. Do you guys want Russ Wilson and they can have Jordan Love? I don't know. Uh, Broncos are three and a half point favorite. Yeah. Um, I don't know. This could go either way. I'm thinking this is going to be just like 13 10 Broncos. Uh, close game. Nothing really special. Uh, Denver wins. I'm going to go the opposite here. I'm going to go 17 13. Uh, Chargers because Easton Stick showed that he was pretty good the other night. Uh, I mean, obviously, that's you played Buffalo well without your number one receiver, your number one quarterback, your running back's not playing well, your defense looks like it's starting to click. I'm going to give the Chargers a nod here. All right. Uh, all right. The final game on uh, New Year's Eve is my Green Bay Packers at the Minnesota Vikings, which, by the way, I don't know if you heard it today, but uh, Alexandra has been suspended for one game, which or calling the coin toss. Yeah, calling it wrong, apparently, uh, by the Packers, not the NFL. Nope, so, that is that is detrimental to the team because he said he wants to play defense instead of saying they defer. Yeah, um, which is the dumbest I, thing I've ever I think, heard. I think they should have. Um, I think they should have fined him. I don't think they should have suspended him because this game, uh, you know, this means is, something. This is the game that we have a chance to win again in the playoffs. <laughs> if we lose, we're out. And, uh, you know, we need everybody on the team, you know? Yeah. No, I don't understand that one at all. Yeah. So uh, who are the favorites in this? Um, The Vikings are. I can tell you one thing. I'm not betting on this game again because the last time I bet on a primetime Packers game, I was going to win $500 and panicked and cost myself half of that. So I'm not doing that. All right. Uh, but I, I, I'm going to say the Vikings win. What's the score? Uh, 21 to 20. It is the game of the week. It's going to be a good game. I think what's going to screw them in the end is the lack of coverage in the secondary. Ugh. Nick Mullins is able to throw all over you guys. Jordan Love is able to try to do it. I'm, I'm going to break your heart, Frank. They lose going for two points with the clock expiring, and it's 21-20. to 20. I think the Packers are going to win 24-21. I think we'll get it. We got to get it. Um, and, uh, you gotta believe go pack, go, you know, I mean, you gotta believe I don't. All right. But yeah, that is the, uh, those are the final picks for week 17, uh, final game for week 17. Uh, make sure to comment, ready, flex, please subscribe, uh, hit the bell for our latest contents. Uh, look out for shorts. Been quite late on those, but, um, you know, try to get some more out in the coming weeks. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, your sponsor. Uh, shout out to our dude Nikki. Two scoops. Uh, I have half of. Uh, I have two and a half ice cream sandwiches and a couple cups of ice cream in my freezer right now from him. Wonderful time. He might be closing soon. Uh, I know he's going on vacation, but hit him up while you can. He's open year round. Past that. Uh, shout out to our dude Kyle at Chicken Dip and hit him up online chickendipping.com or chicken underscore dipping. Fifteen percent off your your order with the code seven one six. All right, guys. Yeah, um, that's about it. Look out for also the Green Bay Packer recap episode. We took a week off on the Bucks game, but we got back. Uh, me, I got back uh, last week at the Panthers uh, recap. Uh, and I'll be doing that again this week uh, for the recap episode. Um, and uh, yeah, look out for that. I am the SS Ultimate Goku. He's the Rain Forty Eight. We're out of here. Peace.